firstly you you mentioned this aspect of like the major perhaps the inkling was to sort of get away from the city life and perhaps experience what it is actually like living in a village with minimal resources being connected with nature among other things can yeah. you speak a little bit to that because you talked about roti kapra makan mm-hmm. and living in the city as well because i recently had this good opportunity in turning at this um uh organization called adhar shila shiksha samiti okay. which is doing really good work in this small village uh based in the shivapur distri- district the mm-hmm. name of the village is agara and okay. it was it, yeah so they sort of built up a school there now and uh, most of the kids are from adivasi backgrounds and scst backgrounds which is great okay. um but the thing over there is that it's it's also very much believes in this uh, aspect which is in new and pedagogy in some circles it's called cooperative sort of learning which means that it's no, because traditionally in education we see a very top down approach so for example if i'm the professor or if i'm the teacher then i'll be lecturing and you'll be listening in and it's not going to be so sort of uh, what's it called democratic whereas they believe in a very democratic institution and they're very democratic in their sense and that's how they've started to instill it from the ground up so the okay. kids who've come up now it's a very organic process so uh, the teachers the kids the teachers and the principals everyone in the school is basically been a part of the school so they've sort of studied there and things like that okay. but one thing i sort of really found fascinating was that having a conversation with the founder that they mentioned that it talking to people who perhaps who come from cities as well um sometimes when they hear about a philosophy they they totally like uh, they don't understand it in some sense um they say that why are you teaching kids about what trees are next to them or like which fruits uh, grow on these trees or something of that sort you should probably be teaching them something more i don't know material that they could sort of then um, lend into their lives but, but the thing he said was that it's a very narrow way that we're looking at it because now as you said as well many of the people who live in cities in metro 1 metro uh, tier 2 cities they wouldn't have a clue about like the the trees that they grow in their neighborhood mm. the trees that grow in their city or mm. or things like that whereas those perhaps are the more uh, essential things which will develop critical thinking and um those kind of aspects can you speak a little bit about that like what was that fascination was it simply because it's something that you haven't experienced in your life so you thought that you'll you'll dabble into it and see see what's up or was there something long term is that you knew you you knew from the get go ki there is something i want to like this is long term that i want to do with this or did that grow like over the years as you got in <laughs> i mean so as i said like it, uh, i mean uh, it's all started with a tiny af right ha huh. So the idea of tiny AF was that we are, uh, we are tiny as fuck. Yeah. We have like tiny AF lives. So why not just focus on the, focus on things that matter, things that you really want, people who you really want in your lives, and declutter all of that. And what are the what are these ambitions? Are these even important or not? like there still these are still questions i mean going yeah. to a going out of the city is not a solution for all of these things it's just uh, those thoughts who what started inef and then it was the curiosity of uh, this choice of life that we have had in our head ki the slow life and chilling uh, i mean i'm not chilling exactly but like staying in a quiet place where it's peaceful where you can uh, concentrate more on yourself there are not as many distractions and uh, I, working with your own hands creating things with your own hands yeah. and because i am a very digital person yeah so even right now like a lot of people come and tell me ki how does this even work because your whole life has been digital and now we see you on like making on the ground, mud house much, and, exactly yeah uh, yeah dancing in mud and like how does that like switch happen or and still i'm like i've not left digital as well like i'm uh, doing both of them so yeah like doing things in the hands and living this life where we could be really connected to ourselves in a way that was the thought i th- i guess yeah but it is just i mean i don't even remember what the thought was but like what i've been experiencing that's what i'm trying to put across that you actually can sit peacefully without ambitions there so in delhi when i even right now i have so many ambitions like i want to do this i want to do that 
if we do we are editing something if we are editing yeah. podcast for example so we like we'll edit like because we are from architecture college so we are uh, trained to like slog off overnight and like work 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 but वहां जाके क्या होता है कि सारे एमिशन थप हो जाते हैं कि वहां जाके तो लाइक मी एंड माई ब्रदर वी लुक एट ईच अदर एंड लाइक हो जाएगा लाइक डोंट वरी लाइक इट्स दिस मोमेंट इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट लाइक इट्स सींग द माउंटेन सींग द नेचर अराउंड जस्ट सेटिंग लिस्निंग टू द birds and yeah we like there's dadi there if like you you, you must have seen yeah, some yeah. stories so great her. pictures with her as well it's yeah, <laughs> a so yeah. proper rock star <laughs> she is the best dude like she is the rock star of the village yeah. so yeah i mean sitting with dadi just listening to stories yeah. or making food <laughs> with her on the her chula and yes it's just little things that then take the forefront and everything else slowly falls in place and aisa nahi hai ki hum chhod dete hain ki ha ha ab ye nahi karna paise nahi kamane mm-hmm. but it just like take takes its own time and happens at the right moment yeah. and everything falls in place so, does it translate when you come back to the city when you come back to delhi so what you were talking about this whole aspect of slowness to your life mm-hmm. that it's that you can sort of appreciate the moment that is there at the moment yeah. but then when you come back to delhi and then you say that perhaps you have all these things it perhaps is because the people around you the conversations you're having the media you're getting fed everything's mm. so like quick everything's happening everyone's doing something or the other but then are you still able to find that balance because perhaps you're living this sort of village life as well where you're sort of um working on the ground can you when you come back to a city do you still find that solace that even within even within the chaos you're going to you are able to find that uh, moment of peace or do you find yourself also getting like lingered into the whole sort of hustle culture for a lack for lack of a better term mm, i mean yeah like this like this conversation like this there. conversation i'm having shows that you're still there like you're able this, to find that balance i think it's like balance i mean i don't know if it <laughs> yeah like the self <laughs> retrospection huh. uh so basically it's like you have distractions in the city the balance is really good because as an artist uh my work also requires a lot of fabrication and i uh, i uh, with the city being a like a city i get to use a lot of these tools which a remote village would not offer a lot of these opportunities come from, from here city, from big yeah yeah and i uh, i think we have now found that balance where we understand that it is we need the city as well like we because our family is here anyways so we do keep keep, keep coming, coming back, because yeah. health issues like whatever happens and we have to balance out work mm-hmm. maybe some uh, i have some commission doing my my brother has some consultancy so we come back and go back mm-hmm. to and from but so yeah city balance is good but we obviously need the city for uh what it offers it is amazing in that sense but the distractions it has also need to be taken care Get of out, right like you need to uh put your priorities right where so like i think me and my brother both wake up early in the morning around my brother earlier than me like 6 i wake up at 7 730 we work in the day as well we also socialize a lot we have meetings that's kind of why we're here <laughs> yeah, probably yes. <laughs> so in delhi yeah i think we have been socializing a lot uh, lately but not just uh randomly mm-hmm. it is also about people who re- we really like we really have a connection with people who are, who who would help each other grow and so that community is very important yeah and uh, so yeah and the city just makes it easier to access the accessibility increases right the the kind of resources increase it's a different place of course like 
Rishikesh as a city itself, but then we are further off further in the off, yeah. remote village. So 